Yeah, that'll work. Nope. I'll just connect it directly like so. Make things simpler. And then we'll start from here. There we go. And then another 45 degree angle. Or some other angle that doesn't look like it's 45 degrees. Alright, there we go. down the power lines and I need concrete holy crap this is so tedious well I guess welcome back to satisfactory oh man but the good news is we only have to really do it once and then we automate the entire thing uh what was I going for concrete you want? Know Let's go grab some concrete in this direction. Let's also grab some screws. Keep this makeshift line going. And same thing with iron rods here. There we go. And then we'll get our concrete from here, since this has lots of concrete now. And how's our production going over here? I guess not that great. Is there a bottleneck? Yeah, there is. So, real quick, I'm going to turn this into MK2s. We have a lot of these things. You know what, let's go get some reinforced iron plates first. Okay, can I throw something away? I can throw this away and this. I don't need this. Or the iron ingots. Take as many as possible. I'm gonna turn these into MK2s just so we can get faster concrete. The bottleneck is the conveyors here. Okay, MK2s. What is this? Oh, it's iron plates, which I cannot pick up. Let's get rid of these screws. off these belts over here. And there we go. Let's get these berries. Alright, so let's go back 
and continue working on our modular frame production. We're over doing the screws. Okay, so I can't slide up here since it's uphill. But here's our screws. We were building power poles. So we'll hook this up and then set the recipe. And again, I don't even know if these ratios are correct, but I'm just going with it. you here. Okay, now let's set the recipe. Screws. And then we need to bring these screws together, iron rods here, or not the iron rods, the iron plates together, and then we will have lots of reinforced iron plates. So this can probably support like three assemblers worth, I'm thinking. Let's just bring all of this over here. Oh wait, no. Alright, connect this up. There we go. Okay, so let's do this. Let's split her here. Oh, not to split her, merger. give it a little bit of room. It looks like I'm going to have lots of room to build here because I'm already building vertically. Again, this thing is going to be a problem. I'll have to build around it eventually. And actually the merger is supposed to go here. Not here. Here. So there should be three mergers. Connect this up. Okay, the final one, right over here. Okay, so we got three of these worth of screws.
And then we need to break apart these two lines of iron plates. Okay, how are we going to do this? Assembler. Maybe I should jump up on top of this thing. Now I want to line up this entry point. This way. There's two. And there's three. So that should be lined up. Yes, that's correct. We just add this in. Now I'll replace these when MK2s eventually. First I want to be able to... This. Where's I going to do that? Wait. What if we did the splitting right over here? Splitting and merging. Okay, I'm gonna have to put another belt over here. And then we'll put splitter here and splitter here. And then we'll put a merger here. Yeah, that works. Or does it? Oh no. Okay, so we'll probably have to move this up a little bit more. Okay, so splitter right here. And splitter. Is this even connected to the belt? Could be attached to the top of this thing. We do this again. Okay, let's do this first. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. And then we attach the lift over here. Connect this here. Yes. So now we got three lines of iron plates. There we go. So it's very split like that, so... There's one. Here's 
Here is two. Then I'm gonna bring it this way. Just enough iron plates to do that. Okay, so this is reinforced iron plates. Okay, we're going to have to speed this up. We should be getting lots of reinforced iron plates now. I think we can add this to the hot bar now, the MK2s, I mean. Do we get all the conveyor belts down here? Uh, looks like it. I'm sure we get all of the conveyors on this side first before we move on. Also the conveyors in between here. Got all of these. All right, time to get some more reinforced iron plates Over here. Oh, hey, doggo. I'm going to try this again. One of you said I'm supposed to drop this, but how do I drop it? Here we go, doggo. Come here. Okay, so he's eating it. Doggo hasn't found anything. Okay, so you're good. You're tamed now. So I'll just... You are following me. Oh, cool. So I have tamed a doggo. Nice. What was I doing? Okay. Let's go to more important things. Let's continue building out our production 
of modular frames. So we got the reinforced iron plates automated and now we need to combine it with one other ingredient for something else. I forget which. Hmm, that's actually a lot of screws. Hmm. Maybe we can fit more of this in here? I mean, that is a lot of iron plates as well. Yeah, I think we can we can actually support more. How's our power? Power is still good, it looks like. Yeah, probably should add more of these. In fact, I could probably add it just more in this direction. The assemblers. And just not worry about the spacing here. Just cram it together. Like three more should be good. I would have to rework this a bit though. I would also have to move the screws in this direction as well. Put this over here. You over here in one, two. This is going to be a little more complicated now. Should be fine though. Just need to figure out how to split the screws here. Gonna need to take some of these reinforced iron plates as well for constructing the conveyor belts here. Still a long ways away to before we get to steel, and then we'll have those MK3 belts. Hmm. So what if we... Better idea. How about we just move this along here? Now let's put a splitter like right here. Oh, that's not going to work. There's not enough room here. Okay, um... Can we just like, move this side by side or something? Oh, why did, why did I have to do this? Maybe we should just scrap it. Scrap all of this. <laughs> and now I'm going backwards. We're going to scrap all of this. I have to put down storage.
Yeah, we have too many screws in here. Let's grab all of this and then we'll add some additional space. We'll put some, put a line here for some screws. But how though? Or you know what? Let's put a splitter here. And then we'll connect the screws like this, except we can't. Okay, now we'll connect the screws. And then we'll put the assemblers like so. Oh, now that container is in the way. We put it farther back. I guess we can put this organic material in there. Just to save that space. Okay, assemblers. And this is taking a long time. Just to make something basic. I guess it'll have to go like this. Okay, there's the screws. Okay, so... Here's the lifts. So how are we going to do this? We'll put a splitter going in this direction. Three, four, five, 